right, this is the moment that every mixed martial arts athlete hopes will materialize. The number one heavyweight contender making the walk for his first title fight here in the UFC. I mean, the nerves are going crazy for this man right now. He's so nervous. Has he done everything he needs to do? Has he not left any stone unturned? He says that he has prepared. He says that his body's ready. His mind's ready. He feels physically good in the spot. He's taking on a long-rated champion. If he's gonna get this done, it's gonna take something truly special. He does not believe jitters will be a factor here tonight. He has built his career methodically to this point. We'll see if we hear the words and new by night 10. So here he is, one of the consensus greatest of all time, the newly minted UFC heavyweight champion, John Bones Jones. And I think by and large, this sport is better when he is in it. Tonight, he tries to successfully defend his UFC heavyweight title. Yeah, John Jones at heavyweight is something that we have waited for for a really long time. And to say that he delivered would be a massive understatement as he won the fight in the way that he did. John Jones, once again, building on such a strong legacy. If you guys relish fight night as much as John Jones, you see him grinning ear to ear as soon as he hits the tunnel. We'll see how it goes in title defense number one. John Jones, one of the greatest of all time, steps inside the octagon and is ready to fight. tail of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. All right, now for the official introductions, we go inside the octagon where we find Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger live. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending USC heavyweight champion of the world, John Bones. Show! Herb Dean, our referee for this fight? one. Ready. Go. So here he is, the youngest champion in UFC history. Another massive spot for Johnny Bones Jones. We'll see how he approaches the early going here. Nice mix of knockouts and submissions. Hard to find any sort of weakness thus far in the UFC career of one of the greatest of all time. Jones takes the center of the octagon. No surprise to see Johnny Bones Jones open with some of those long-range weapons and finding some early success in this one. That's exactly what he does. He throws the front kick to the leg, and he throws those lead kicks to the body. He's long, he's 6'4 for the weight class, and he has learned masterfully how to fight with his height and his range. All those long-range weapons are John Jones' calling card. Takedown defense holds up. Right now, a little separation between the two fighters. Lands a nice straight. Fast pace here in the early going. Jones gets lit up by that straight punch. Going back to his patented kicks here, but unable to find the target there. 
Oh, so John Jones changes levels, and now he takes the fight to the ground. Yeah, he's a junior college national champion. And I remember when John Jones was in college, everyone looked at him. Oklahoma State, Iowa State. He chose to fight, and he shows right now why he had so much big Division I interest in his wrestling career. Oh, nice. Ref won't help you here. Just as the referee will never take a guy out of mount, they will not take a guy off of your back. You have to get him out of this position. While working pretty effectively from the top here, nice ground and pound by Johnny Bone. Oh, the ground and pound strikes continue to rain down. The opponent better move out of harm's way or the referee's gonna stop this. He better start to move, and when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hip, push him away, try to escape this very, very dangerous position. Because all of himself into that kick. Oh, and that's a huge kick here. Strong punch to the head and the clinch. Slips that left hand. Oh! Oh, big left hand there. the closed guard. And he's gonna try to find ways to pass and move to a submission. All right, so an opportunity goes by the boards. He had him stunned, nearly finished, and now his opponent has recovered. His opponent recovered. Now he's gotta go deal with everything that he's gonna bring at him. He should have got the fight finished at that time. Oh, man, I'm starting to feel bad for the canvas as he lands another takedown. He landed another takedown, and he's doing it over and over again. What I am a massive fan of is his cardio, the ability to be able to... He's in a dominant position. Look at him attacking the wrist. Oh, that Kimura looks tight. Well, oh, he's out. The fight's going to continue. Oh, my goodness. I thought it was over. I thought this fight was over. Not good body language from his opponent here, DC. He's curled up. No, he's exhausted. He's been beaten. Oh, nice job working hard, posting, and getting back up. Now drops inside that closed guard, DC. Full guard. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big ground and pop. All right, so some high-level stuff there on the ground, but as they make their way back to the feet, a huge response from the crowd, no surprise. There. I loved it. I loved all the grappling that was on display there, but fight fans want to see striking, and that's exactly what they're going to get as he finally makes his way back to his feet. Well, defense doesn't necessarily win championships in MMA, but he's doing a nice job blocking these shots. He's not allowing his opponent to get any damage off of him by blocking all these attacks. Big by Fifteen seconds remain in the round. Spinning back this is there. Huh. That horn sounds means we have reached the end of round one. All right, there's the horn. What a round it was. He hurt him pretty badly there in the middle of the round. Got to think he's going to be looking for more of the same here when they get up off the stools. I don't know who it is. I don't know who we're watching fight. But I tell you, as he walks back, he looks like Bambi. When Bambi <laughs> was born and her legs were shaking, that's exactly how this man looked when he took that right hand. He was hurt bad, John. And the ability to get through that, the ability to still be in this fight shows to his toughness. But if he doesn't change it, he won't get he will not get another chance. Bambi. Bambi. Ready to fight? Ready. All right, round two. Look at the turtle in that kick. Oh, another blistering combination there. Really starting to do a nice job stringing his shots together. And you can see the damage in his opponent's body, his face, his body, his legs. He's beating him up on all the targets. It's not. One guy just headhunted. What a shot. He lands a beautiful flying knee. Wow. End of the clinch. Now let's see if they're going to try to find a takedown or watch for him to employ a dirty boxing strategy. Oh, big knee to the bottom. That'll soften him up. 
throwing that jab, no good. Oh my goodness, what a kick! Hardy closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Beautifully timed and placed kick there by Jones. Oh, nice double yes. Nice shot there by the champ. Oh, nice shot landed from the bottom. Oh, big shots from the top. And there it is, another strike gets through on the ground. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. We got a scramble here. Change of the position. A lot of top pressure being applied here. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. Two minutes have gone by. I need you to scramble, scramble. Crowd always laughs when they go north, south, DC. Get up, get up, get up. Jones is right back to the full mount. All right, so there it is again. He's been very efficient with his ground and pound striking game tonight. And now they're starting to pile. He's starting to pile them together. Punch after punch, he's starting to land from the top position. Gonna try to take his opponents back here, and he does. All right, so he continues to land a high volume of strikes. He talked to us a lot about pace and pressure, and he has certainly kept up his end of the I mean, the cardio is fantastic tonight. He is pushing at a level that we have not seen him fight before. This is shades of Colby. Jones is trying to lock up on a submission now. Ooh, that Kimura looks tight. Wow, somehow, some way he gets the arm out. It looked like he was done, John, but he was able to stay comfortable, stay patient, and now he finds himself safe. Oh, nice land there by Johnny Bones. Mike Rico John told me before the fight, you haven't seen 30% of what John Jones does in the gym and starting to show you some of those new wrinkles here tonight. Oh, that opened up a cut on his forehead. Slips the punch. Looking to land the right hand, he misses. Great timing there. Beat the hips and got the take. Shot landed there from the bottom. Oh, good ground and pound here. Oh, another strike lands from the top. Oh, these are some serious power punches from the top by Jones. The ground strikes continue to pile up. Seconds to go in the round. Back and forth we go. Oh, how good is that jab by Jones? All right, so some definite damage underneath the elbow now on the side of his opponent. A lot of strikes to the body starting to start to add up. Yeah, a lot of strikes to the body and mixing up the attack, not being one-dimensional, not headhunting inside the octagon. I, I think he is fought beautifully right now. He's starting to show itself. All right, round three coming up next. All right, heading back to the corner now, and Jones is bleeding from the forehead here a bit. Hopefully they can get that under control so it doesn't trickle down into his eyes in the next round. All right, as they attend to the damaged fighter, we will re-rack some replays for you. A lot of damaging strikes landed by the opposition in that previous round. Well, him just not really paying attention on the defensive side has made his opponent look like an absolute world beater. He's a good fighter, but he has never looked this good. And that is, in, that is partly because his opponent is not defending.
You ready to fight? You ready? Go Here we go, third round of this championship fight. All right, next round is underway, and if you look at these two guys in between rounds, it looks like they've barely broken a sweat, both with good resting heart rate, stamina still very high, and you just have to laud the efforts of these guys in training. Both men certainly noted cardio specialists, but incredible that they would have this much in the tank after 10-plus minutes of fight. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Nice. Nicely done. Big knee lands to the body. Gets tagged again on the inside. Late kick now. Whoa! Oh, nice body shot. Can I take Spinny Hills? Spinny backfist. Oh, that head kick landed. Really using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. Clean punch. That's how you defend the single leg. He does a great job getting out of that clinch position. All right, so we'll see if he goes for another takedown here, and it's the way he's approaching the setup, too, that I think you've liked so far. I love it, man. I love how he's throwing the left hook and almost pulling himself into his shot. Punch goes as the opponent's hands go up, drives himself into the guy to try and secure a takedown. Truly, truly high-level striking mixed with unbelievable wrestling. Oh, and there it is again, DC. I know you're not surprised. You saw that one coming from a mile away. A mile away, because that's all we've seen over and over again. This guy shooting for takedowns and him securing takedowns. So it's no surprise. The earnest is one of the partner to try to change the course of this fight. Under three minutes now to go on the round. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. Well, he's on his back, but he's landing. Jones is able to transition back to side control now. Well, you see all the grappling. Oh, he's stepping over the head here. Oh, he's got the Kimura position locked in now. He got out. I mean, wow, that is great submission defense. All right, he remains in pursuit of the submission, but the defense continues to hold up. I'm not sure he's going to be able to find a finish here. In MMA today, guys are so well rounded He's so gifted. It's hard to just lock up a submission, but he continues to try. And in those efforts, he has given himself a chance to win this fight. I've never been submitted. You never have? Been? I am. <laughs> well, the ground and pound is there once again. Strong work here by Jones. Another one. I mean, he cannot miss from the top position. Jones is looking to pass out of the half guard here and get that side control, but he is denied by the opposition. All right, north-south position now. We'll see who transitions first. And busy as he looks to improve position here. Battle for hooks. Big shots being landed on both sides here. Oh, he's staying busy here, connecting with a barrage of punches. Well, it's all pace and pressure down the stretch. He is really lighting them up now. Whiffs on that offer. Oh, really good with the kick to the body. Well, earlier in the round, he clearly got stunned by his opponent, but he just has not responded well at all. He hasn't responded well. He hasn't gotten himself back going after getting hurt so bad early in the round. Beautiful shot to the leg. Oh, beautiful job to get the takedown late in the round. He is about as conditioned as it gets. He's not looking at the clock necessarily. He's not running clock all offense all the time. He knew he was going to wrestle, and he knew he may have to wrestle early and often. And right now, this situation is often because he's, a t he's been attempting takedowns over and over again. He finally gets one as we get to the end of the round. the 
folks, we are headed to the championship rounds. All right, nice work. Excellent ground control. Once again, you've really shown you are the better grappler. That submission attempt was close last time. We saw it. Boom, body kick right there, landed perfect. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. A stunner there with the head strike midway through. Nearly got him out of there for good. Almost got him out of there. He hurt him badly. He had his opponent hurt real bad. Now fight? his opponent's walking back to Ready. his corner. Everybody Ready. looks confused. They don't know what they're supposed to do to try to change the way that this fight is going. All right, here we go. Fourth round of a possible five. And this is the time where fighters are really tested, right? Dig deep, lean on the heart. We'll see who has the upper hand. You feel pretty good in round number five. But round number four is the one that really does test the fighter. It really does test the metal of the guy inside of the upper. Jones is bleeding from the mouth, Daniel. Looks as though there's a cut on his lip. Thankfully, he's a lot tougher than I am. Looking to land the leg kick now. Head off the center line, slips the punch. Jones going for the takedown here, nothing doing that. All right, looks as though that strike maybe opened up a cut around the eye area. Yeah, it looks like that strike opened up a cut, John, but it's nothing to worry about now. But he's got to start to protect it. Just misses with a left hook there. Beautiful strike there as he continues to attack that cut. Cut man's going to have some work to do if we get to the stool between rounds. But that's why we got the best in the business. We got the best cut men in the business, and they are going to need it right now because this cut is getting worse, and it's only going to continue to get worse because he has got a killer in front of him. Get them out here. All right, seems as though his sole focus is attacking that cut, and man, it's getting bad now. A lot of blood flowing. Yeah, as it should be. Right? He should be focused on getting to that cut, making his opponent pay. He did the work. He opened up the cut. Now it's on him to continue on the path and make the ringside position come in here and try to stop this fight. Well, it's been a wild fight thus far. Perhaps a contender for some bonus money at fight's end. These guys are going to have to dig deep. They're both hurt. They're both hurt. You expected it, though. You expected a close fight. You did not expect a war like this, though, where both guys, from the moment they said fight, went forward, got in each other's face, and... And now he's got the back. Oh, right, it's a mount. Oh, he's got to be careful there, yep. Oh, big elbow. Jones has got his back yet again. Look at him, he's setting up a choke now. Look at that, he's setting it up. Oh, that rear naked choke looks tough. How in the world did he escape right, that submission? Jones is back in full now. You can't take all those unanswered strikes. They don't have to be that damaging. Yeah. You just gotta move. Oh, you gotta love the ground and pound strikes here. He does everything so well. And he's so calm. He's so calm in the face of such a big spot. Another submission attempt here, and this is a good one. Arms in deep. All right, well, he's got him softened up here. There it is. Now he's running him out. Now he's got good body position, yo. Good, Good solid strike on Good the ground. Back. These ground strikes really started to add up. There's another one. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. usual suffocating work from the top here by Jones. This is where he wants to be. Moving his head pretty well defensively on the ground here. One minute. Grounded pounce strike there now. 
Man, he's killing it on the ground. Another strike gets through. Moving his head here on the ground, Champ. I mean, this guy is very active off of his back. It helps him to evade those strikes. Lands a switch kick. Punch over the top. Twenty seconds left. Fifteen seconds. Swelling in and around that left eye now. Buzzer sounds for the end of round four. All right, so there's the end of the round. You see the blood trickling down as he makes his way back to the stool. Cut on the bridge of the nose, or so it appears from the strike in that round. Cut man getting right to work. All right, I'm being told we've got some replays from the previous round, and it appears as though the cut on the bridge of the nose is getting worse by the minute. It's getting worse by the minute, and he's got an opponent in front of him that wants to target it. He wants to hit him on the nose over and over again. I wonder if every time he gets hit there, the blood goes down into the mouth, making it difficult to breathe. You ready to fight? You ready. Here we go, fifth and final round. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those legs. All right, big storyline starting to develop here. That cut really starting to gap wide open as this fight continues. And you can watch him. You see him. You see it becoming his focus as he's popping him on that cut. Just out of range with that right hook. Big right hand there. Oh, he hurt him again. All right, champ starting to see some swelling upstairs now. Well, he's taking way too many shots to the head. He got him in the Well, MMA is a constant exercise in risk mitigation, right? But it seemed to me. Oh! Beautiful combination, he knocks him down. Might get the TKO here. Drops down inside the now closed guard of his opponent. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big ground and pound. Jones has got him in a crucifix. Gonna work from the top now. That was a slick transition. Good work from the top here by Jones. And there it is, another strike on the ground gets through. Under three minutes now to go round five. Looks like someone took a red sharpie to his side. A lot of bruising courtesy of those body strikes. Oh, big kicks, big punches. He's doing everything he told us he intended to do to slow this guy down. And you can see his opponent starting to really be labored in most of his movements. Great job landing from the top position. Again, not much defense there. Another ground strike gets through. Now he's going full mount. Oh, he got to his spot. All right, crowd absolutely loving it as the fighters, however compromised, make their way back to the field. They may be tired, but that tired, that fatigue is warranted. That was a high-level grappling exchange between two phenomenal grapplers. Jones is definitely taking aim at that cut right now. You see, targeting that area that is already compromised on his opponent. All right, it's late in the fight now. I don't need to be a judge to tell you that he is clearly losing. What is a fighter's man? Oh, huge right hand! Looks like he's got a couple hooks in here, DC, and defensively, you better be careful. And he's able to work his way back to his feet. He gets to the single collar. Look at him, the 
keep that elbow tight and throw punches with his free hand. Yet again, rinse and repeat, targeting that swelling, and you gotta think this is gonna start to affect his performance. Yeah, it, it's at a point now, John, where he's gonna start to get desperate. He's gonna start to make some mistakes because the swelling is not just minor anymore. We're starting to get into the major territory. One minute to go, fifth and final round. Pretty good work with the ground and pound here by Jones. Well, at this point, hard to blame him for head hunting, right? He has caused some significant swelling upstairs and continues to attack that area to great effect. Absolutely. I mean, the guy has done a great job recognizing where he had an advantage, where he has an ability to separate himself from his opponent. He's done exactly that, and it's showing in his opponent's face with all that swelling. Well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Jones. Man, another one lands. He's trying to pound his opponent's head through the canvas. Ground and pound keeps coming. Good movement to avoid that damage coming down. Oh, and he's back up again. All right, the official decision is now in. Here is Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. Judge one scores this contest, 48-47, White. Judge two scores it, 48-47, Jones. And judge three scores it, 48-47, for the winner by split decision, and new undisputed USC heavyweight champion of the world, White! There is a new baddest man on the planet. There's the new UFC heavyweight champion. You don't get them all right, DC, but you thought this was gonna be the result and we got a new champ? I mean, he has so much power and such an ability to shut the lights off that you almost saw it coming. Congratulations to the new baddest man on the planet.